Okay, so I'm back. I didn't want to make the video too long, so I forgot to show y'all four in green and one in red, okay? Okay. So, let me see if I can, you know, um, put a time frame on this based on them frequencies. Something was definitely sped up, and that's like, you know, a blessing there. I'm telling you, it's like four in red and one in green, but now it's four in green, one in red. So something's been cut down, okay? For some of you, I'm getting a new beginning in a home. Let me just... Say that straight off the bat that's gonna happen way sooner than you anticipated okay Sila that's the thunder <laughs> it was like an opportunity that was taking its time rolling in but now damn it's like like the ancestors they're like we coming we got your back okay we coming to help you out okay okay I, i'm not gonna tell y'all though when it's gonna happen but like i'm just like making my notes like like right here just making my notes <laughs> yeah because we know the 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 the, the devils they be listening in as well so how is this you know how you know when people are stalking you online you know when you make certain you know comments or you you say something and then you know all of a sudden you see people shifting and they start you know as though you know they've been founded out and now they're trying to make amends or they're trying to you know fix themselves how is this so we got the two of cups already the two of cups okay i was going to share with you you know when y'all can expect this you know but like certain things like people are too communion Like where I am and where I stay, like I'm, I'm the hermit, I stay to myself, and you know, um, I'm a beautiful woman, I'm very sexy and attractive, and then, you know, I just feel like sharing this with y'all, and we got the, the ten of swords, okay, so, you know, already I can tell you that you've got healing here, and, you know, something that was very demonic or toxic, you know, um, black magic, you know, um, as well as, you know, a lot of hate against you, that's coming to a sudden end, and there's something that's gonna happen that's gonna, you know, trigger that, um, into, um, effect, but, you know, like, I keep to myself, and, you know, people, you know, they're just jealous sometimes, because they think that every beautiful woman, um, is shallow, and so, um, this dysfunctional, you know, mother, mother, you know, she's like, she's so disrespectful. I think that was last week, Friday, and she was like calling me a whore. I'm like, that woman don't know nothing about me. I don't tell her my business. But the thing is, um, I'm a black sheep of this family and you know they are very toxic i don't even like calling them family they're not family to me okay people who vibrate at the same frequency as i do they're family to me they're just some dysfunctional karmics yeah they're just some karmics and so you know sometimes you have people okay i have the nine of cups okay sometimes you have people the end to spell work to moon magic Someone is performing new magic on you, as well as uh, sex magic. Okay, so 
this could have been someone who's got uh, Jupiter in Scorpio as well as this could have been someone who was projecting death on you, sickness on you, okay? But you are escaping that. You're breaking free past that sickness, the phobias, the, um, the sorcery, and all of that. The moon magic, all of that. Okay? Because that cycle is completed, four cups. And, you know, some, some, some women, I'm telling you, if they had the body that I have, the beauty that I have, you know, the world would, would be in a worse state than it is. And it's in a deplorable state, Eight of Swords, because you have, you know, some of these beautiful women, they are shallow, but not all of us, okay? And therefore, you gotta, you know, find you a beautiful woman who is not just beautiful externally, but also internally. Because we know that people, they buy, you know, physical beauty, external beauty, as well as, you know, we know that, you know, people are blessed with that, and they allow it to, you know, overtake them and to... You know, um, you know, you know, they deceive themselves with that asset. But you know, you have hateful trolls out there who, you know, they think that, you know, you are a certain way because you are beautiful. Because it's pretty much them judging themselves because they know that, you know, if they had what you have, you know, um, they would have abused that that gift, that beautiful, uh, that beauty, that attraction, and they would have done great damage to the, to the, to the world, the collective with that. And so you gotta know yourself. I said that in a series, um, cruel intentions, pretty hurt. Okay. Um, they're trying to make you think that your beauty is a curse, but it is not. Okay. That's just them being jealous and hateful and you know, it's just ugly ass bitches, trolls. That's what you call ugly ass bitches. So I'm just, you know, working with five cards here, two of cups, ten of swords, nine of cups, four of cups, and the eight of swords, okay? So a lot of, you know, uh, air frequencies and, you know, emotions here. So I'm getting, you know, you know people, you know, doing shit here. Uh, a lot of moon, moon magic, sorcery and all of that, just based off of their emotions. Because they have no control over their emotions, alright? And, um... I was at a point in my life where in which I thought I was very ugly and I never hated on anyone. I admired people, I, 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 I loved on people, I never hated anybody. Okay? I I would you know wish I, I looked a certain way, but it wasn't to say, Oh, I wish you didn't look that way and I look that way instead, Sila. Okay? That was just never me, you know, you just you know people just never really change. And that's the honest truth. Once you're a hateful person, you will always be hateful. Period. That. Okay. And you know, um. So you know, she was just very disrespectful, and I had to put her in her place and say, "You're a whore," because you know, based on what I could calculate, based on her life choices and mine, I'm a way smarter woman than she is. And you know, there are a lot of dysfunctional mothers out there who are jealous of their daughters because they're more beautiful than they are because they're smarter than they are because they make better decisions than they ever did or than they do you know i'm an excellent you know house um uh, manager of the home way better than she is she she doesn't have any you know um nurturing frequencies to her she, because she's a very hateful person moon and capricorn no offense to y'all with moon and capricorn because you know if you have aspects that you know you know um beautifully you know synchronizes with that then certain possible negative traits of a moon in capricorn is just dumbed it down but she has you know a lot of aggression with that she was born during the year of the goat plus she's a sun in aries so those are not good you know compliments those are not good aspects to go with that moon in capricorn i'm telling you those are horrible aspects nothing's wrong with having sun in aries nothing is wrong um with being born the year of the goat it all depends on the other aspects that goes along with goes um goes um with that and i had to tell her that she's a whore and you know in the black community there's so much fuckery because they are such hypocrites they say oh you're not supposed to say this to your parents as though you're supposed to worship them there's like this fear that these dysfunctional parents put upon their children to think that something horrible is going to happen to you if you stand up for yourself and you speak your truth and you speak truth 
And at the end of the day, a lot of these dysfunctional, these dysfunctional parents who are so narcissistic and manipulative, they practice witchcraft and sorcery. And that's how they get their children to be fearful of them, even their grown-ass adult children. That's why you have so many, you know, adult, uh, these you know, so-called men, I call them big boys because they have no ind independence of character, and these big girls, they're, they, they, though they're, you know, tough and bucky, yeah, and they're trolls, and Sila, old ass, decrepit bitches, they are not mature because they're not independent of character.